In Year 12 Accounting, we study what's called the Perpetual Inventory System. And to learn about it, and actually we're going to learn by comparing it to another system called the Periodic. So a business always wants to know exactly how much stock it has in any one day at any time. And to do that, we could actually do a stock take every day. Now that's not going to be practical, obviously, because it takes too much time and too much money to hire all the people to count the stock. So we'd still like to know how much stock we have, say at the beginning of the period, how much stock we bought during the period, how much stock we sold during the period, and how much stock is on hand at the end of the period. But we, if we can't do a stock take every day, we're going to need a system to keep track of all that. And the two that we're going to look at are the periodic inventory system and the perpetual inventory system. So we actually don't need to assess you on the periodic system just the perpetual, but we're just going to learn about the periodic just so we have a basis of comparison. So the periodic system works like this. You count stock with a stock take at the beginning of the period and at the end. The difference must, must be how much stock was sold during the period. So let's take an example. Say we're doing this for July. On the 1st of July we do a stock take and we count 90 units. End of the period. On July 31st, we shut the store and do another stock take. That's 92 units accounted. So we've gained two. What we need to factor in, though, is how many we bought. So we bought 77 units during the period. And what that will help us figure out is, okay, well, how many did we sell? So to do that, we're just going to sort of do a little bit, bit of uh, arithmetic. So let's take how many there were at the beginning, which was 90. Let's add in the 77 that we bought. That's a total of 167. Take away the 92 that are left at the end of the period, and that must mean that the amount of units sold was the difference, in this case, of 75 units. So that's all very important info that we uh, would like to know. We've got how many were at the beginning, how many at the end, how many were bought, how many were sold. I guess the problem with it is it was kind of a lot of manual work. We did a lot of uh, stock taking. We did it twice in a month. It's a lot of time and money. We never knew at any one point at any day during the period how much stock we had. And that makes reordering difficult. How do we know when we're low? Uh, because of that, we could run out of stock or consequently maybe hold too much, which is uh, just as bad. And basically, we have to wait to the end of the period to figure out all those important figures like how much stock was bought, sold, and on hand at the end of the month. So we need a better system. And obviously, big businesses have this system. And we probably haven't thought of it as to, in terms of what the name actually means, but they're going to use a perpetual system. And what it enables them to do is if you caught up Rebel Sport today, say at 9.24, you could ask them about any bit of stock. So, for example, you called them up and said, do you have a size 9 blue Nike free runner? Well, at the click of a button, they're actually going to tell you, be able to tell you, yeah, we have 14 pairs. And the reason they can do that is because they're always updating their stock records every second of every day, and that's a much better system. So um, what we're going to use or give that the name, we're going to call it the perpetual inventory system. And what does that actually mean, the word perpetual? It means continuing or, to continuing or continued without intermission or interruption. It's ceaseless. So it's a never-ending stock recording system. It's always working at every minute of every day. And looking at a slight definition here, we've got a definition saying it's a system which involves keeping records of all stock movements as they occur. That's really important. So it's basically recording stock and it's a system that never stops. It's always recording movements of stock continuously and without ceasing. And to do that, it uses what's called stock cards and we'll learn about those later. Uh, but basically this system works. So let's say there was a sale of stock right now. Well, we'd record that straight away. We wouldn't wait to the end of the period to figure out how many we bought or sold or anything like that. If it happened now, we record it. If there's a purchase of stock right now, we record it. If there's a sale, we record it. If there's a sale, we record it and so on. So we're always updating our stock records immediately. And how it works is obviously it's a lot of it's done with computers now, but the point is the same. We know with the stock card how many units are on hand. So we open up the stock, the uh, shop today at 9 o'clock and there's five units on hand. At 9.37, a supplier delivers three more units. We update our records so we know that we have eight units on hand. 10.01, a customer buys two units. We update our perpetual inventory system straight away and it tells us that we have six left. A 10.39, a customer buys three more units. We update our perpetual system so we know there's three units left. And lastly, at 11.17 on the same day, 
uh, we deliver or sorry we have order another two units from a supplier we know we've got five left so this is the point where you call up rebel sport and you ask how many units do you have left and they say five and they know that because of their perpetual inventory system and the reason they know it is we recorded all this uh, information continuously or perpetually and lastly what we would do is a physical stock take to make sure there are actually five units on hand so the advantages of using this system are it gives us greater stock control. We can look up on the computer or stock card at any second of any day how much stock we have. That enables us um, some good information for decision making, what stock is selling well and what stock is not, so we can identify slow and fast moving stock. Reordering stock is very efficient, so we always want to reorder when we have three units, or this system will tell us when we get down to three or five or whatever it may be. It's good for determining our profit because we can identify cost of sales very easily and we can also identify any stock gain or loss. We can count up how many we should have and compare it to what the stock card says. It's also got some disadvantages though. Uh, there is additional record keeping in the real world. This requires a lot of equipment and computers and uh, security tags and that sort of stuff. And because we're updating inventory balances after every single transaction, that's a lot of record keeping. And whenever there's more record keeping, there's more cost. So we might need extra staff and equipment for this system. At the end of the period, another disadvantage is we're still going to do a stock take anyway in the, um, in the perpetual system. And yeah, if we're going to do it anyway, should we really bother during the period with all this work?